What's up, party members? Distant party 8 here. Welcome back for more Pokemon Coliseum. In the last episode, we got uh, another team member back in Fainet City, another Black Ore Pokemon. It is Krokona. We also fought some battles here in the pre gym. No, not an actual gym, but just. We've we done a lot of battles. In this episode, we're finally heading over to the next town. Yes, finally, after two videos. Yeah, it's, it's, this walk was going very slowly. That's why we're going to the construction lot. Yeah, that's the next time we're going to. I don't know why you want need to go here first, but this is a bit of a foreshadowing where we're going later on. As you can see, there is something on the construction. Whoa, hold it there. There's a construction site. It's not safe to be. To be. There's no place for tourists to visit. Go on, scram. I can go wherever I want. This is the world of Pokemon. Right, uh, I think there is no item here or something. Yep, out of the way, Rui. You can't go inside there just yet, so there's nothing we can do here. Alright, on to Pirate Town. A rough and dirty town full of thugs and scoundrels. It's said to be the home of two sinister Pokemon. Prepare for pretty awesome music. Oh, Mr. Johnson, give, give a man a break here. I keep telling you, I don't know anything. That better be true, Carol. If you're trying to con me, I'll know about it. Mr. Johnson, sir, I wouldn't think about lying to you. You've got to believe me, right? Alright, fine. I'll let you off today. Easy today. See ya. Hehe, <laughs> well, Nitwick, of course I haven't got a thing to tell you. What do you have to say for yourself, Kale? You have a strange name compared to that guy who is named Johnson. That's actually a normal name. What are you looking at? I haven't seen your face around this part. What are you, tourists? You don't want to get hurt. You should, you should get lost and quick for the good of your health. <laughs> Great first impression of how this town is going to be. Alright, let's go inside this building first. Now, this right here is the fortune telling uh, guy, which I will talk more about a little bit later. Or maybe not. People call Fatine the mother of pirate. The ability of Forest Hill is highly regarded. It's even turned where my wife is living since she left me. <laughs> oh, that's some bad fortune right there, man. Uh, I think some people want to fight. There are some random traders to fight if you would talk to them. Like I said, I'm not going to show you normal battles anymore. I'm only going to show you acquired battles. And <laughs> that looks funny. Ow, 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 I'm sorry, Chief, but there is trouble afoot. You see, Chief, there is talk that Tux Tux have been witnessed using strange Pokemon. Huh? Chief? You're not a Chief. I beg your pardon. Well, I'm also wearing blue, so yeah. I'm here, Johnson. That story is a do. I've heard about it over and over already. Oh, oh, Chief, there you are. You're such a kidder. <laughs> As you can see on the back here, we, we see a familiar person right there, but also this guy we saw in the intro. It's Gonzap, Team Snagum's boss. Boss, blah, I cannot talk. So, another foreshadowing thing right there. And uh, look who it is! What, what not to you again? Listen, you have to promise them. Don't tell me or be that we're hiding out here, okay? After we blew our last chance, we couldn't go back. We turned ourselves in for stealing that truck, and here we are. So here we'll be safe, hehe. <laughs> Sure you would. Okay, I think I don't think we need to go inside this house right here, but we do need to go inside this place. When I first played this game, I actually already got stuck on this. This game taught me to actually talk to almost every NPC. The name's Duking. I run the Coliseum here. If you want to enter a battle, go see the Coliseum's receptionists. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy. You sound like that guy from Majora's Mask. Um, I'm the lookout. Nobody's supposed to get by me. There's nothing special behind the bookshelf. When something says that, there is something behind it. Oh my god, a secret. I always wanted to... When I was little, I always wanted to have a secret hideout, you know, like this. 
find a bookshelf or something like that. That's why I'm going to snag them from those criminals. Well, you started me. How did you get in here? That's where your little brother's supposed to be on the lookout. He's not really good at it. My sister hasn't done anything but chatter. But I'm so bored. I want to play house. <laughs> I want to play house with you. Okay, no, not really. Are your papa's friends? I'm Marcia. I'm pleased to meet you. But sorry, we're busy. We're talking about something that's quite important. Please come visit and play with us another time. I don't want to play with you. Anyway, this boy's talked about uh, snagging uh, once again black ore Pokemon from from bad guys. Interesting. Duke King, how much more are you going to take from Mirror B and his stooges? They're using you and the Colosseum. What is the matter with you? Have they sucked the spear right out of you? Sure. <laughs> so we just clam up. I was fading you. So Mirror B has taken over the Colosseum. Man, that went out of Silva. He's Duke King's friends. But he was really angry. His face looked all scary. So, thanks to Mira B, there are some things going on. Some sinister things going on in this place. Now, I believe... Yes, this guy right here. This is not a required battle, but... You need all the experience points you can get. So, I'm going to do this off-screen. So, see you guys in just a moment. Let's do this battle off-screen. And that's it. Calda. Whoops, you were better than me. Yeah, that was not that hard of a fight. Plus, uh, uh, Crocknose Heart Cage uh, went down a little bit as well. Tops it all. F U F U F U. I can see it in your eyes. You look just like us. It's easy to see. Interesting. Uh, let's heal up Espion a little bit more. Because, um, actually, Espion got hurt pretty bad. There we go. Alright, let's continue further. Wes, it was here in the square where I saw that strange Pokemon. I tried to leave town afterwards, and that's when those creeps grabbed me. Nothing normal about this town. So. All these strains over here, except this one right here. I think this one is just another not to acquire battle, so... Like I said, we need all the experience we can get, so let's do it. <laughs> that was pretty funny dialogue. All right, let's cut away. <laughs> and another one down, Emok. That's one letter away from Ewok. I know why I did that Star Wars reference right there, but okay. All right, that was not too bad. Only two Pokemon. All right, let's heal once again. Really don't want Espeon to die because she is definitely going. To Excuse me, he, because Espeon is he. Espeon's definitely going to be my main attacker for a very long time. Because these two, no, not these two, uh, game. This one, uh, Marquita and Croconaw are going to, it's going to take a while before we can evolve them. So, yeah. Now, like I said, all these trainers over here in the circle. And I believe there's a guy over here, yeah. Has a Black Aura Pokemon. Now, there's one I want to add to my team. I know it. A lot of people are already asking, like, why are you adding so many Pokemon right away to your team? Like I said, this game has very limited options of catching Pokemon. You can only carry 50 or so Black Ore Pokemon. I'm going to switch to Maki for this because uh, the Pokemon we're going to catch is good against Croconaw, so yeah. And it's this lady right here. Pokemon about to catch is always going to be very useful in the future. Diogo. And this is a required battle, we're going to show you this. And look at this, it's a Flaffy and a Shroomish. Guess which one I'm going to catch? Well, they're both good against Croconaw, but you'll see. It is Flaffy! Yes, let's talk about Flaffy a little bit. Flaffy is, uh, if you played a Generation 2 game, it doesn't matter if it's Gold, Silver, or Crystal, or Hard Gold, or Silver, you definitely used this Pokemon before. Uh, early game, at least. Uh, even for a long term, this Pokemon is not too bad. 
The only uh, difference between the other electric compared to the other electric types is that she, uh, Flaffy is a lot slower compared to uh, a lot of other other electric types. So an item uh, that we're gonna get later on called the Quick Claw will be very useful. Uh, also, its starting moveset is not too bad. Thunder Shock and Thunder Bolts. It's kind of an awkward moveset, but eh. But Thunder Bolt is not. It's locked until uh, something happens because that's locked away by Shadow Rush. And um, also, there's the Thunder Wave, which is very useful catching uh, Black Aura Pokémon. So yeah, this is definitely going to be my main uh, weapon to use against you know other Black Aura Pokémon. Okay, let's now let's actually start attacking. Uh, let's use a. Let's see. How should we do this? I think taking out this Pokemon right here is the main thing for us because we need all the experience we can get. Because if you catch a Black Ore Pokemon, you will not get experience. So, yeah. So, it's best to take out the normal Pokemon first. It also has Cotton Spore and it missed. Okay, good. Alright, Shadow Rush. Because the other moves are not very effective. I like Shroomish. Shroomish is uh, one of my favorite grass types from Generation 3. And its effect spore uh, is in it. <laughs> Look at Margarita. Look at his face. How he's asleep. That's really funny. Anyway, like I said uh, in the previous episodes, you don't need Awakenings to wake up Pokemon. All you need to do is just use Call, and then it will wake up. Alright, let's use a Return, because I don't want to kill it. See? It woke up right away. I know that's static for its ability, so that's kind of a downside. And Shadow Rush? It doesn't have the highest physical attack stat? Oh god. Maybe I should, maybe I should put on a reflect. Let's do, let's see. You know what? Let's try our luck. Let's do this. And yeah, let's use another great ball because I want to. I, I really want to catch this thing. Now it's what's kind of nice is that this uh, Flaffy is female because I was going to name uh, Flaffy after a well a female person. I'll just say it like that. And ah, uh, okay. That was that was kind of expecting. Expect it, man. All right, let's use reflect. It's probably gonna do a thunderbolt or thunder shock. Or he keeps using, she keeps using Cotspore, which lowers the speed, which can be useful, especially against really fast Pokemon. All right, let's try again. What you're also going to know is you're going to catch a lot of evolved Pokemon, and as we all know, getting catching evolved Pokemon is not the easiest thing in the world to do. Which is also one of the main reasons why this game is pretty difficult. Yeah, but we caught it! We got our next team member, Fluffy. You outperformed me! That means there's another Pokemon on the, on the side of the screen. It's going fast. It's going to take a while before we... Uh, okay. Yep, I already explained in the last episode. but um, It's going to be a while before we get our fifth and la last team member. So yeah, we're going to stick with these four Pokemon for a little bit. Alright, if you want to know where you can heal, you can actually heal by the Colosseum. Just right here, we're just... It looks very uh, interesting. We're gonna tackle down the Colosseum another time. There we go. Now I'm only gonna show you the other battles briefly, and while I talk about the other Black Orb you can catch. And like I said, in order to 100% this game or fully complete this game, is you need to catch every Black Orb Pokemon. So yes, I'm gonna battle all these guys, and I'm gonna talk about their Shadow Poke, uh, the Black War Pokemon. I already spoiled what they're actually called in the last episode, so yeah. So 
Uh, you know what? Let's let's stick with Maki then. Uh, actually, wait. Wait, let's put. Let's actually put him uh, thing on front. Well, does it have Thunder Wave just yet? No, it does not. Of course, of course, she doesn't. Let's do this and let's talk about the Black Ore Pokemon from each of these trainers. Let's start with this one. Divil or Dival, I don't know what you're supposed to call it. Anyway, he has a Quagsire. And a Psyduck. And yes, the Pokemon you can catch from this guy, and if you want to add it to your team, is Quagsire. Yes. Quagsire, if you didn't pick Croconaw, is definitely another option for a war time, because once again, its starting moveset is a uh, serve in it. It also has Mud Shot, which is decent. Amnesia is also pretty nice. It increases special defense by two levels. Um, Slam is also not too bad, but also Mud Shot gets replaced. You can easily get Earthquake later on as well. I think it also learns from leveling up, so yeah. It doesn't have the highest stats, as you can see. But it's at least something. So that's a good thing about this guy. Also, it's a water ground type, so it's only weak to grass. Which is uh, inch which is really good. I, I, I'm always a fan of the water ground ground dual type. Alright, now that's all I want to talk about. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you cut away until we get to, you know, trying to catch this thing. So see you guys in just a moment, because this is gonna take a while. Finally, jeez. That took a lot longer than I expected. Alright, yeah, 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 shut up. Alright, I'm gonna need to buy some more balls, because that was just awful. <laughs> how long that took. Uh, Alright, let's heal up, and I'm gonna get some more balls, and I'll see, see you guys in just a moment, once again, because... That took way long. I know Quagsire had a pretty low catch rate, but that was just... Ugh. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to cut away, and once again, I'm going to see you guys in just a moment once I get more balls. And I'm back. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Let's actually look at Flappy for a little bit. No, it does not have a thing chance. Uh, Crocodile already got his uh, few battles. But... Now nah, we're gonna use Fluffy in the net for the next episode. For now, let's go over to the next trainer we need to fight, which is let's see, which is this girl right here. Oh wait, I think I know which Pokemon she has. So wait. So let's actually, yeah, let's actually, let's get Flaffy. So I think I know which Pokemon she has. Leba. And she's a rider, apparently. And, yep, I was correct. Skip Loom. Yes, this is the Black Ore Pokemon you can catch from her. Skip Loom is a... Decent grass flying type. I, I guess that the main downside of this, of, you can already see, is its dual typing. Thanks to the dual typing, it's good offensively, but it has a lot of weaknesses. Like, a lot of weaknesses. That's kind of the downside of, uh, of this guy. Uh, it can evolve, of course, when, uh, once you, you know, once it's no longer a Black War Pokemon. But. I don't know, I'm just not a big fan of this grass type. I'm, I'm also not the biggest fan of grass types in general. But, like I said, this game is very limited options, so you, if you want it, you can at least, you can get it. Alright, now that explanation is over. I'm gonna cut away once again until I catch this thing, and that looks really funny. Some of the fading animations look really funny. Alright, see you guys in just a moment. And that was a lot easier than Quagsire, and went to the PC system, nice. 
And that's it for you. Oh, boo, I had to lose. Yes, because you're not the main character, that's why. Alright. Not bad in your first battle. Even though I need, I need to call uh, Flaffy because uh, she's in hype mode right now. Here for you, honey. Stay away from me. I already have a girlfriend right next to me. Okay, not really. Um, so, yeah, I think the next Pokemon is also... I want to keep Flaffy in on my, t uh, par my party. Actually, let's fully... You know what? Like I said, you don't need to really worry about it. Because there are healing machines everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but they're almost everywhere in this game. So, yeah. Alright, next guy. Nova. Alright, let's see what your Black War Pokemon is. It is Noctowl. And Lady Bell, which we do not care about. Noctowl is the Black War Pokemon you can catch. It is the standard Johto uh, fly normal flying type. Well, not standard, because it specializes in special attack, out of all things. Which is kind of strange. Especially in the, around this time, because you know, normal flying are still physical attacks, but hey, it gets pretty decent later on in the series. It's not the greatest, but like I said, limited options, so if you want a flying type, there are not a lot of flying types you can catch in this in this game, so yeah. Overall, it's not too bad of a Pokemon. I just almost never use it. Okay, now that's done once again. Once again, cutaway time. So see you guys just a moment once we catch this thing. Which is probably gonna take a while once again because Snarktail is a pretty low catch rate. And gotcha! That's another Pokemon out of the way. You're saying I lost? Yes, you have lost. And I already explained that in the last episode. Why do people like to explain things after I explain it? That's really stupid. Let's heal up and there are two more battles to go. Alright, let's heal up first, and let's take on the final two opponents. And come on, out of the way. There we go. Now, these last two, I can probably... No, not that. Um... Well, there's one that's kind of annoying to catch. Which, Maki is actually pretty good at against... Well, it has that... Wait... Mm, no. I, I'm gonna put Umbreon. It's kind of weird it's not that Umbreon's not on my team, but... I'm gonna put Umbreon in front. You'll see why in a minute. I think it's this one right here. Alright. Yeah! What kind of a level... Is, what kind of a lap is that? Fans. That's kind of a decent normal name. I think this is the one. Yes, it is. It's Mistrevious. Yes, Mistrevious is the uh, Black Horror Pokemon you can catch. Mistrevious is... If you like ghost types, you're probably not going to like this game. Because Mistrevious is the only ghost type in the entire game you can catch. I am dead freaking serious. It's evolution, Miss Magius is of course not in this game because you know it's before Diamond and Pearl. It's still decent at doing special attacks. Unfortunately, sh uh, ghost type moves are still physical as well. So that's kind of a downside of it. So, it's, I mean, it has a pretty good uh, moveset. I mean, it's got Confuse Ray, Shadow Ball, and Psy Beam. And that's Pain Split as well, which is an interesting uh, move that not a lot of people in Pokemon learn. Overall, it's not bad. It's just, it becomes better in the later games. So 
Alright, let's heal up first. And I'm gonna see you guys in just a moment. And Mr. Eagle was caught, so let's see the rest of the battle, I guess. Only against the sk skid the And well Flappy goes down, oh well. I can always uh, heal. She's got a lot of experience right off the bat, so that's a good thing. Your Pokemon are definitely going to come down go down a lot. It's not like you can do this game without, you know, KO Pokemon. Uh let's get Marquita because it's part normal type. Because it's a normal type that. Plus it's a female, so it cannot use Q-Charm for its ability, and let's taunt so it doesn't attack here. Monkey then, oh, I missed, of course. Alright, final throw, let's go. There we go. And that fading animation looks really weird. And that's probably the last time we're going to use you, Umbreon. Yo! Yes, I already explained. Oh my god, this is getting really annoying. Alright, time for the last one. I know this video is getting pretty long, well, at least for me it is, because, you know, without the cutting and stuff. But I want to get this out of the way right now, so yeah. Alright, so the last one. I think I know what the last Pokemon is. So let's put these two up in front. And let's fight the final trainer. Which is this guy right here. Actually, wait. Let's. No, no, no. Let's not put Carcanon just yet. Espeon needs all the experience that she that he can get. I keep calling her a, a sheep. Yeah. Little boy, you look a lot smaller. Yeah, whatever. Lawn. Are you a fan of Zelda or something? Because you know Lawn that runs. Ah, whatever. And he has a Slugma. This is the replacement for if you if you decide not for Kalava. But like I said, I really don't need a Fire type. But let's talk about Slugma anyway. Slugma is a decent fire type Pokemon. I mean, it has a pretty good starting move sets. It's just, it's kind of mediocre. It's very, very slow. I mean, it's a slug Pokemon, so what you expect. Also, it has a lot of weaknesses because of, of the part rock type when it's set. Uh, so that's kind of an annoying. It's kind of annoying when it's fully evolved. It has a lot of weaknesses. But as an, as an attacker, it's not too bad. If you give it the uh, things like the Quick Law, which sometimes it goes first, maybe can be really good. I mean, as you can see, there's Flamethrower, which is not too bad. But it's just... I don't know. I'm not a big fan of this guy. And of course, after I said that, I get burned. Alright, let's just... Uh, let's heal up, I guess. We don't really need a burn heal. We don't need a burn heal. So, once again, for the last time... Uh, no. For the last time, let's heal up. And see you guys in just a moment. And that was really easy. Slugma is one of the easier Pokemon to catch. Alright, so let's finish this. Let's not finish it. Swablu is a pretty defensive Pokemon, so... And, uh-oh. Uh, okay, good. Yes, my, uh... Flappy got the KO'd right once again, but that's alright. We won this battle anyway. It's over. And that's it for the Battle Square. That's, those are all the Black Ore Pokemon we can catch. For now, at least. 
now it's time for me to go. That's kind of rhymes. Ah, whatever. So, uh, that's enough for this episode. So, let's heal up once again, and then we're going to end this episode off. This has been a long episode, but whatever. I want to get this out of the way. So, yeah. So, we got a... Also, we got our new team member. Got everything sorted out. So, I guess I'm going to say... Let's, let's heal up first. Come on. Next time on... Uh, Pokemon Coliseum. We're gonna explore Pirate Town a little bit more, and also learn, uh, and also maybe maybe participate in the Coliseum. See you guys next time.